Welcome to Acromote tutorial uh, number six, charts and alarms. Uh, in this tutorial we'll go into some of the features inside the PC version of the system um, around live charting, alerts uh, and reporting. So just to make it uh, useful we'll use one of our clients. We'll have a look at one of their pumps for example. So this is a 55 kilowatt. Now you can see up here in the screen, you know, we've got some feedback coming through the system. You know, there's three, three pound of pressure sitting in the, on the pump set. It's 14 degrees and it's next to no flow. But if we look at that in relation to its live charting, so up here in the top left hand corner, you can select charting. And you can see here that we're getting some instant feedback from this pump set. And obviously if this pump was running, these the characteristics here would be different and we'll be seeing uh, variations um, of those uh, feedback parameters. Yeah, if we want to add particular parameters, you know, like we could add things like percentage of torque and output power and running cost, percentage of load, and apply those selections. You can see here that they would be added, and if this pump set was running, yeah, it would it would capture those things longitudinally as well. And and from a point of view of looking at it, you can also take out some of those parameters. So you can look at the the live feedback in various ways, or, or look at different combinations. So you know this is a really handy tool, uh, and it's the basis of what is the reporting system. So while this information is being captured live. It's also being stored in the database and then therefore it can be pulled back out of the system at a later date. If we move on to alerts, if you have a look here, this is showing a number of um, functions that the pump set has had happen in you know, the last few months. You know, the irrigation season is finished so there's, there's very few, but it tells you you know, application start and application stop. So somewhere along the line on the on the third or the sixth, this particular client uh, started his pump from his mobile device. The pump turned on, he turned off the pump, and then we got some feedback to say the pump was actually off. This records this information, but not only that, it actually sends that information out through a pushover notification. So this particular client would receive information on his mobile device telling him what has happened in live real time. This is either internal to Aqua Remote or we use an external third party uh, pushover notification system as well. So, so it doesn't send SMSs as such but it just sends pushover notification. This allows us to send more information. There's no SMS charges associated to that so it's, it's quite a good system. Um, inside the reporting system we can go and have a look at historical data. So I'm going to go somewhere like today. So let's just have a look at the fifth. And we'll go from midnight. And we'll go to say now. And we'll pick up, well there's not many things we can look at, but we can look at temperature. And we can look at say pressure. Let's get that report. It just takes a moment to capture the data. Okay. So if you have a look here over this time period, you can see where the temperature has sat. Let's go back a day. So let's go to, or let's go back to Friday. We'll see some variations from day to night. Okay, so here we go. So you can see here that you know, the pump sets around 6 degrees, 10 degrees, 11 degrees, back overnight again, and then up through to this period of time now. So uh, it also shows pump pressure, and actually this isn't very high because it's just uh, in standby. But you would see a rise in pressure when the pump was started and you can use this data for all sorts of things so it's just an idea of showing you that um, there is information available in historical data 
Um, in the mobile application, if we go on to, to this uh, different different site, but um, it will provide you with some information. It's a bit limited in terms of what the mobile data will return to you. It's uh, pretty much limited to the alerts. So if you have a look in the alert screen here in the mobile uh, system, it just tells you basically what has happened. Uh, you cannot pull up a report to say historical data or live data in this in this system. Um, so you would, this is the benefit of the PC version. So it's our intention over time to extend this aspect of aqua remote into a full bi system and a report generating system which gives some totalized uh, reports around usage and, and flow and totalized flow and, and costing with the aim to help users i guess better understand the costs associated with pumping so that's, uh, that's the end of this tutorial, tutorial number six, charts and alarms. Um, hopefully we've been through live charting, alert screens and historical charts. Thank you for watching. Um, please have a look at uh, any of our other tutorials. And in the future, as we make uh, changes or, or add uh, features and functions to Aqua Remote, uh, we will run another series of tutorials and update you with those um, changes. Thank you.